Okay, we're back with another episode. Um, today we're here in Vanaheim. Um, I want to tame up some creatures. Uh, creatures that I don't think I've ever tamed up before. Uh, I spent a long time looking for some. Um, I did end up doing a few dino wipes because I reinstalled Paleo Arc, um, and I had to set up the stuffed the way I like to have it. Um, so we are going to be taming up some X Dinosuchus. And there is a 180 over here. Uh, she has really good health. And then I think further down there is a 162 or 168. I can't remember. Uh, maybe we'll start with the 162 first, and I don't know how long we're using Extraordinary Kibble. Oh, shit. Am I gonna... Jesus Christ, I forgot about Capros. That scared the mix shit out of me. Okay, see, that's a Paleo Arc Kendro. Okay, he wants some food, so let's see if I can feed it. Um, now he's aggroed onto me. Which hit and miss. Let's run away. Or she's aggroed onto me, I guess. Let's. 21%, so it's gonna take what? 2, 4, 6, 8. Way more than what's it say? It says. I guess that makes sense. I think that thing just like is a rough estimate. Damn, he's still coming. Or she's still coming. Oh god, that thing's tall. I would like to do... a ton of mutations on these um oh, as you can see i made some arrows for my compound bow it's pretty sweet extend this because this might take forever honestly uh did i even show off i've got a bed placed up there that way if this thing kills me then I, you know, won't die. Or won't have to go all the way back to the base. 43%. So, like, what, two more? Three more? It's five in total. How the hell did they get a little eight? Hmm. Uh, but, yeah, I'll talk some more about the Paleo. The Paleo, I've got it. Uh, usually, I have the Rexes replaced by, you know, 100% Evolved. No Paleo arcs. Paleo Arc Rexes, no regular Arc Rexes. Um, but no, this time we're going to have all three. We're going to have regular Arc Rexes on here. Paleo Arc Rexes. And then uh, Tarbos and Evolves. Um, but the Tarbos and the Evolves have a 0.5% chance. Or like a 50% chance to spawn. Compared to a regular Rex and a Paleo Rex. I figured it'd be nice to have a bunch of different Rexes. Uh, I should have made a saddle for this thing first. Oops, he aggroed. Yep. Wow. She's a quick one. Should have maybe wore Gilly. I don't want this thing in the water because it's a pain in the ass to tame it when it's in the water. Did he... Did she move on already? I think she did, but now she's in the water. And I think that's the gigabyte. Yeah, with its mouth shaking like that, that's the gigabyte. You get close and then it chomps down and fucking destroys you. Uh... When she's basking is when you can feed her and 
And she's basking. That's basking right there. Just sits there. This is dangerous. I might actually die. I'm trying to outswim it. Ooh. That was close. If it would have giga did the gigabyte, I would have died. 100%. She's still coming. Yes, she is. 99.9%. I was watching another YouTuber who, um, I don't know how to say his name. It's like Bemo. Bemo Guineas, I think. Uh, but he does arc. And he put up a poll and was like, who should I fight? Because I think he's doing like a. The, or the center boss is right now and he wants to know like should I fight the gamma or the uh, beta bosses with a bunch of creatures and uh, the dinosuchus was one of them and I was like hmm that sounds like a good idea you I voted for dinosuchus obviously but then I was like hey maybe I should tame up some uh, I didn't even look at the stats of this one before I started taming it, honestly, so I don't know if this was, like, decent. Um, no, I mean, I know she's not decent because her stats suck. Uh, so I'm hoping the 180, well, I know the 180 will be good because it's got, is that an otter? I want to win another because it's got 30 points into health already. So I guess what I need to do is somehow draw it up to land. Draw it up to the land. I don't know. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Let's kill the snake. I have to get her to come over here. How am I going to do that without pissing her off? Guess I could plant a couple of arrows in her. But I can't see for shit, so. Hey, I hit her. She should aggro to me now, hopefully. I don't know if she's fighting something or not. I guess we'll go in there with an Andrew. Just because, uh. She's trying to kill that fish, I bet. There, it's dead. It's a dinosaur egg. Now she's coming for me or another fish. Oh, come on, dude. Here's what we're gonna do. Hey. Is she coming after me? Yes, it looks like she is, so that's good. Oh shit, she's quick. I'm gonna let her eat that so she can heal up. You know, I think she was already pretty healed up. We're gonna run around. Need to her to lose the aggro. Which I think if I get far enough away and then cryo it up, she should lose kill the circle. What was that? Oh, it's a Deodon. We are both pigs, brother. Why do you attack me? I don't know. I kind of want to do like mutations on these things. It's an X person. Let's use the Desmodus actually. Um, we do have this one had two mutations on it when we snatched it up. And she's basking. See so she'll have really good health and oxygen when she comes out. I should have brought Gilly. I think Gilly's a good one to have. It's 19, so she'll take 
probably about five the same. Let's put the Desmodus over here. She's basking, I can't see her. No, she's not. Hmm. I kind of want to go like crazy on mutations. Like I think uh, the craziest I've ever done was earlier this year I did 75 and 75 into stamina and medicate. So that's what, 20 mutations? Yeah, I think that was 20 mutations. I did 20, 20. 20 into health, 20 into melee. And those things, I mean, they still kind of sucked, honestly. But they were like white, white bodies, white sails, but then like the tip of the sail was like red and black. It was pretty sweet. I liked it. Took me forever to build. Literally like two weeks. I would get on every morning. Um, well, that's when my rates are like slower too, so... Um, a hatchery would actually pick up eggs and I'd have to go out and hatch them myself. Um, if I did it with the settings I have now, it would probably be easier because I could just set up a bunch of terminals around it because the terminals only hold three. Um, and the max is 300. I mean, I'm going to end up accidentally harvesting. Oh, she didn't eat, which means she's aggroed. Oh, no, she did eat. Okay, cool. Um, but, yeah, like back then, the hatchery was picking them all up, so I'd have to get on and throw out a thousand eggs every day before, like, work. I'd wake up, like, extra ten minutes early to do that. Um, and then, but now if I did that, I think it would be easier to just set up, like, what, three, six, nine, four, four terminals around what I'm doing. And then that would easily pick up 1,200 creatures. And hopefully by then I'm like, you know, home from work and getting back on. It's a weird place to bask. Is she aggroed? No, she's not aggroed. Uh, There's probably about two more. I'm hoping she's really good. Like, I want her health to be, like, 50 points by the time we're done. It would definitely be nice. But then I gotta work on getting a male, since they're both females. Yeah, that kind of... Oh, shit. She's gonna... Yeah, that gigabyte just fucking destroyed... That toad or whatever, Beasel Buffalo, I don't know what the hell, how you say it. We're going to have to, yeah, it took me like 20 minutes to even find these. And I looked yesterday, after I filmed the last episode, I went out. Oh, shit. You tricked me. Um, I went around looking for one and didn't see it. Didn't see any, oh my god, I thought she was right on me. So then, you know, I installed Paleo Arc. I did a couple wipes, Thano wipes, because I had to um, set it up the way I want it. And then we found these two. Which I think you can find X's on the regular realm. In like the regular Fyodor realm. But I think it's very rare. Most of the time you're going to find all the X creatures in Vanaheim. Because I'm, you're going to find X's and aberrant creatures here. Because I think this is technically supposed to be like an aberration area. I don't know. So what, one more? Yeah, I think one more will do it. It'll either do it or put it at like 99%. Uh, 
what did she eat? Oh, yep, I put her at 99%, like I said. GG. I'm gonna kill that snake. Ooh, that Giga. That Giga bite will mess you up. Is she going after the moss chops? Yes, she is. It's 174. Hmm. Ooh, I do want to show off the new Parasaurus, too, actually. Video Arcs Parasaurus is. Oh, they're so great. I really love them. Um, they're bigger. I think they do a little bit more damage with their head, but they do a tail wipe. Like a tail swipe. And they actually fight back now. Like if a pack of Parasaurus is getting attacked by a pack of Aloes, they're going to defend themselves. They're going to fight. They're not going to run. I don't think they do a lot of damage, but they're still going to like... Fight. It's, it's pretty sweet. I'm going to have to tame a couple of those up. So let's cry over up. Cry over you up. Get out the Desi. Um, and then we'll take a look at the stats. So we've got, she's got 34. This is a 162, 34, and 41. So her health jumped up 11 points from her base, which was 30. Hmm. <laughs> That kind of sucks, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, but I guess we're going to keep looking. Uh, I know there's some other pools of water in this area, and this is where they, that's where they usually are. So when I find a high-level male, I will be back. Okay, good news. Um, it's been about 30 minutes. I've flown all over this place. It's probably been like 45, closer to an hour. Who knows? Uh, but I've flown all over this place. Uh, there was another little body of water that had a, a few low levels in them. Killed them. Came back over here, killed some more levels. Low levels, flew around, came back, and now we've got a 174 male with 30 points into melee. Um, they could be better, but out of all the ones I've seen, this is the best one. Uh, so we're going to take it. Andy's like an orangish black. I like it. It's pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just take what we can get. Um, if I see some later on that off camera or something, then sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I found a a one sixty eight male, like one of the first ones I found, but his stats were awful. He had like nineteen points into melee and like twenty five into health. If you've got this spyglass mod, it's it's wonderful for taming. That way you're not just, you know, taming high level creatures and hoping for the best. This way I could see what their stats are before I tame them. Because whatever stats are good before tame are the stats that are going to be great after tame. So he's got twenty nine oxygen, so his oxygen and melee are probably gonna be the best ones. Oxygen sucks because I think they can breathe underwater. Not too sure. Um, but 30 melee is probably going to be 40 something after team. Which is, like I said, the best we've seen so far. So we'll take it. If I find some more better ones off camera, then I will tame those and then mate them. Hey, stay away from me. Bucko. That should be a bask. Guess we'll find out if he fucking destroys us. God, I love these things. Very scary, but I love them. Um, I can't move. Stop doing... One thing about Andrew Sarkis is, is they have, like, animations. And you can't get out of them. Like, uh, pooping animations, eating animations... It sucks. Um, I think in this playthrough I want to tame up like all of the Archeditions creatures. Uh, only like one variant. I don't need to tame up 
regular Dinosuchuses, if we're taming up X Suchuses, Dinosuchuses. Um, so maybe like a Bracky. Uh, we can take up a Bracky. WD. Oh, yeah, what? Um, Bracky. Some Acros. Um, I've never actually tamed a Bracky or a Cryophosaurus. I've tamed up an Acro a couple of times. Oh, let's see. So his... Yeah, see, look at that. See how his melee was like 30 after or before tame and his oxygen was like 29 or some shit. His oxygen got almost 20 fucking levels into it and his melee only got 8. See, so he sucked. And his food is better than his melee. And the food wasn't even... Mm. Yeah, that's very shitty. Um, But it's a start. So I'm going to go breed these together. Um... I'm gonna leave the bed over here. Yeah, just cause it's it's good where it's at. Okay, here we are. We are on our best one yet. Uh, this was actually the first one hatched. Uh, he doesn't have like all the good stats. I think he's got the bad oxygen, bad weight, and bad movement speed. But I figured, you know, it's got the good stamina, good health, and good melee. So it's good enough to you know, showcase what they're capable of fully imprinted. Um, I've got the breeding on top because they're too big to fit inside. Um, I mean, I guess I could have done it the same way inside that it will know because then he, the male would be blocking the entrance. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully we can get, you know, a perfect male and female and then just stack mutations, but let's go spend the last few minutes killing some stuff uh they're pretty quick uh i kind of wish they got like a water buff but i don't think th yeah i don't think they get like any buffs like spinos or whatnot uh they're very quick in the water uh there was an alpha raptor over here oh my god i thought that was a 395 for the regular bite there's that there's that alpha Let's try. Is it a Paleo Alpha? Because for some reason those ones always spawn. Let's load up the Gigabyte. He has 5,000 health. I bet the Gigabyte does 1,000 at least. 2,500. Damn. Love it. Okay, so how do we do... That's how you do the tail whip. Hmm. I love this thing. Um, could you imagine with, like... A ton of, uh, mutations and shit? They're both females, huh? Oh, there's a male. 264 with the... Mate boost. Let's take them both. Oh, I love this thing so much. Oh, I love it. Um, what can we use them on, like boss-wise? Um, one seventy-four male kind of sucks. Shut the spyglass off so it's not zooming. Oh, you could kind of walk faster. Uh, there's a Carno over there. Let's go kill that Carno. He's too too close for comfort. Um, I think once I get enough metal, I want to put like spikes, spike walls, around my, from like my tree to this tree to this tree to that tree and then back to mine, or that tree that tree, around the garden, and then back. Uh, you suck. They turn, like, on a dime, too. It's pretty nice. I don't know. Like, it sucks that there's not any, like, water bosses. Um, because it would be great. Uh, I'll take that. What is my current one? 220? Oh, yeah, and it's an Ascendant. I got that one, like, very early on in the game, which is crazy. Um, let's do that. Let's do... 
Let's do 30,000 health and then the rest into the way. This isn't the final one. So, this one will probably just get used for now. Hmm, there's a true dom. Yeah, wow, I don't really. I'm trying to think of like, I guess we could try him on a boss. Like a, a one of the world bosses, like Bela or. Ooh, Steambjorn. I don't know what the other one, I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, the two wolves. Skull and Hadi, Hadi or some shit like that. Skull and Hadi. Hadi. I don't know. But it kinda sucks that they're, well, I mean, they are pretty quick on the land too when they're imprinted. Hmm. <laughs> 4 that was what, five points in the melee? These things are pretty nice. And then, you know, you get mate boost ones. Ooh. Perfect. Hmm. Yeah, wow. These things are pretty neat. Um, what I wanted to do was to get a bunch of them and put them in the water here. And just set them to wander. To keep the water, keep predators from wandering. Because I think there was one time I had a pack of aloes swimming around in the water. And they got kind of close to the base. Um. So maybe put these a few of them in the water and set them to aggressive. Um, but then I do also want to kind of let's see. Want to build like a a uh, like a dam, I guess, right there. That way they wouldn't be able to walk off. Hmm. I kind of regret building the garden the way I did. I really think it would have been cool to do like a big garden platform in the middle of this lake. Because I think if we were to put a bunch of pillars down in there, I'd be able to build in the water. Hmm. I should have done that. Should have done that. I mean, it's not too late. We're going to be on this map for a while. You know, we haven't even started our, our army for bosses yet, which. For the spider, I want to use megatheriums. For the ape, I want to use something. I don't know yet, but I know I want to use theories for the dragon. Um, so we've got the spider and the dragon figured out. I just don't know what I want to use for the ape. Uh, I've heard there's water in his arena, so spinos might be good. Uh, but maybe I'll use Dinosuchus. Hmm, that might be a fun one. I don't know. Uh, we've got plenty of time to figure it out. Um, they give, yeah, those Alpha Paleo Raptors kind of, they give you straw hats. I don't know why they do that. Speaking of Megatheriums, ah, it's all 18. Um, well, I guess that's all I've really got for this episode. Um, hopefully by the next time you uh, join me here. I have like a perfect one, maybe even a couple imprints into it, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.